Wagging West Indies tail, get them out of dangerous spot as Joshua Da Silva and Kemar Roach continue to fight on. 232 for 8, a lead of 28 West Indies. They have fought back and they are still in this game. This I wanna nail sports to the one. Top blog at top YouTube channel. No matter we sports here, we got it covered. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hey, what's up, sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed evening to all of you guys. Hope you are doing okay wherever in the world you are. Alright, so we're going to take a look at how day two of the third and final test match between West Indies and England went. I must say it was basically like a roller coaster for me. And I hope you guys actually enjoyed it. Hope you were able to watch most, if not all, of the day's play. It was a lot of excitement out there, you know. Uh, I mean, the, the, the batting didn't really start out as how we would have wanted. But at the close of play, we, were, we, we found ourselves in a, in a good little situation. You understand? So you're going to look at, a, um, go look at it from a general point of view. Now, uh, the opening pair, Captain Craig Brathwaite and John Campbell, they started off well, you know, got off to a good little start. You know, we, we basically um, put our foot down, uh, but Captain Brathwaite, he got a... Uh, a, a delivery that kept low, wasn't able to, to, to keep it out, was trapped, plumbing from the wicket, had to had to go, you know, and on several occasions we would have seen where when Captain Brathwaite gets out, then, you know, it starts a, a little collapse from the top order to the middle order, and that is basically what happened today again. It took um, a rescue act from the lower middle order to the tail end to really get us, to really keep us in the game. So I think I think the, the opening pair got in the 50s before Brathwaite was out. Then little after that, um, you know, Shamar Brooks got out. Banner wasn't able to stay. John Campbell, he made his, his usual 30, got in the usual 30 and then got out. You know, um, Jason Holder, he seemed as if his head, his, his brain flew away for a, for a little bit. Player shot that was not necessarily any at all. Blackwood, as I said, wasn't able to stay. You know, the batting really started when um, Kyle Mayers came to the crease with uh, Joshua De Silva. Mayers basically started to play an attacking role. You understand? Well, I can say basically counter-attack. Attack, um, we know that this is how he bats. You know, he might not stick around for too long, but he will definitely give his team a chance to get a foothold in the game. And that is exactly what he did. While he was there counter-attacking, uh, um, Joshua De Silva was able to, to, to fend off a lot of the deliveries. Basically, work the bowlers, made sure that they were tiring out, make sure the ball was getting a little bit older and, and things. So, um, Kyle Mayers basically played a good innings. You know, he got uh, 28 of, I think it was about 39. He got 28 of 39. It really helped us. You know, it's not a lot of runs in the context of test cricket, but he re it really helped us. I want to couple that with the fact that he actually, um, you know, performed well with the ball. You can say, all right, the man, the man basically, you know, really turned up for us in the first innings. You know, um, so his partnership with Joshua Da Silva was key. Alzari Joseph, he came and he also did extremely well. You know, the way in which he got out once again seemed as if the brain flew away, but um, the fact that he was able to stay around with Da Silva and thing that really helped us. You know, I think he got about 28. I think he got about 28. You know, that was also very, very good. And, you know, he was, they, they were trying to put him under on a, on a, on a pressure and he basically played a lot of shots. You know, he wasn't tied down or anything like that. So, that, so um, Alzari Joseph really um, chipped in well, you know, while, while the, all this time, Joshua De Silva was there chipping away, chipping away, chipping away and making sure that the team, the, you know, everything was, was ticking over. And one could say that Joshua De Silva basically making up for a few of his first innings um for a few of his keeping blunder you know it wasn't it wasn't the greatest of day for him yesterday behind the stump so the fact that he's still there actually on a half century simply means that all right the man is putting his foot down and you know he found good a good partner in Kemar Roach Roach is still there my viewers and subscribers in the 20s nigging away nigging away you know they even took the new ball close to the end of the day's play and Roach and Joshua De Silva were able to, to, to basically um, see it off. You know, they squared Roach up a, a couple of times. Ball um, went through the slip card and got four and thing. But, you know, he's still there. And I am sure that when they go to their bed tonight, that is definitely what they are going to give him, th 
going to be giving cans for that both batsmen are still at the crease with Jaden Seals to come. I think 232 for 8 is what we, we are at with a lead of 28. So we would want to push that on, you know, go as close as possible to 50 over 50. And then we see where we go from there. But it's a good little re recovery, my viewers and subscribers. It started to look a little bit better when Joshua Da Silva found the partner in 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 Kemar Roach at the end there. So as I said, Roach is a loyal soldier man. This man always reading the game situation and doing what is necessary for the team. You know, I'm not going to say he's not a, he's a man that don't get out playing silly shots now, but very rarely do you see Kemar Roach throwing the bat outside the half stump and, and getting out. Every now and again you will see him fl flirt after one in a butt, then he will compose himself and and, and basically line it up, line it up again. And you know that is what happens. So um, I think he's 25 of 63. That's a whole lot, a whole lot in the context of the game. 25 of 63 simply means that you know Roach is definitely holding down the fort. And as I said, this is a man that would have done this on countless occasions. You know, he don't just come in and sell his wicket and, and, and head back to the dressing room. And you see, where, where a couple of the wickets are concerned, I, I can understand because you know the pitch basically was 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 giving a little bit of mix mixture and um you know Craig Brathwaite you know he got himself in a good position to play but the ball kept low he couldn't have done anything about that John Campbell got a wide one down the leg side which he fend off he, he basically fend it off got caught I think it's the second time in this series that he's getting out like that if I'm not mistaken he went um Shamar Brooks I think and Blackwood uh, I think Blackwood went by the route of LBW just the same. You know, Jason Hall, as I said, I don't know. So Hall just come down and decide to hit the ball in the air and got out. You know, and that is that is where I started to lose a little bit of faith because I was saying, man, I think Joshua De Silva and, and, and Hall were going to put on a little a little rescuing act. But as I said, um, they, they sent um, Hall up before Kyle Mayers, and you know it. it, it I don't want to say it didn't work out, you know, because, you know, I guess that is why Mayors probably played with a little bit more cash and the fact that Hola went out there and got out um, as early as he did. So Joshua De Silva is still there, guys, and 54 from 152 deliveries. Didn't remember to give you that at the top. Um, 54 from 152 deliveries. Very, very solid. Very solid. Think, um, think it's well played. Well played, my viewers and subscribers. And you know, we just hope that tomorrow he will be able to go out there and, and kick it on, push on as close as possible to the to the century. You know, Roach, Roach will definitely be there with him. And you know, Joshua the uh Jaden Seals is still to come. That the bowlers are going to be fresh, they are going to be steaming in and they are going to be looking to hunt wickets in pier and in pack. So, you know, Joshua will need to take most of the strike, try and score as quickly as possible, but bat for a good little period of time also. And, you know, hopefully his partnership and Roach will go up. I won't push it and say up to lunchtime, but hopefully up to the up to the to the drinks break, right? Up to the first the, the first hour of play. Hopefully they will battle the first hour of play and would have put some runs on the board. The ball is fairly new still it's hard. I think they only got to bowl uh only under five overs with the new ball. I think it could have been maybe two or three overs with the new ball. So you know the ball is going to be hard. You know so um, it's it's going to be a, it's, go, it's going to present an opportunity to score just as though it's going to be um a little bit dangerous for the batsmen you know it's hard so with the quicker bowlers coming through it's you still you still can get value for your shots so hopefully joshua de silva will be able to keep himself calm and continue as i said we need to we need to look into the top order we need to look into themselves and and you know it's not that i'm going to give them a free pass but it seems based on how this pitch is played you know um when the ball gets a little bit older then, then it, it seems to get a little bit easier. It's the same thing that happened with England, not making excuse, excuses for what we did yesterday with the ball in the evening. But it would, it would appear as if the, um, the, the, the longer they stay out there, then the easier it becomes. Not only because the ball is getting soft, but you know, because of how the pitch seems to be playing. But um, as I said, you know, a lead of 28, I will take it so far because you know, at one point in time, it seemed as if we were going to be 
bowled out for 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 a hundred and, and, and a little bit and you know we're able to motor on you understand so um it would be nice to see joshua push on score as quickly as as possible and, and get as close as possible to that century you know the, the thing the thing is this with joshua the silver we know he's talented but you find that um the, when it comes on he's not he, he doesn't square his, square his runs uh, um quickly so he tends to, to run out of partners you know when it comes to the back end of the innings but he's definitely doing his job as i said you know he had to come up with a big performance with the bat because you know um, behind the wicket yesterday it was basically dreadful it was dreadful so you know um be just trying to redeem himself and for all those who thought that here what similarly to how he was poor behind the wicket he's going to be poor with the butt you know he's, he's basically letting the naysayers say eh, not like that not like that so very good to see him getting an half century hopefully we'll kick on and take it as close as possible to that century as we look to, to to push to a lead of over 50 28 it is now as i said it's the hard ball tomorrow so can go either ways you know you can go there and we get bowl out within the first or the fir first over the first two overs while on the flip side we can bat for a period of time and get some runs but yeah that's basically how it went my viewers and subscribers just wanted to sum it up real quick for you guys in big up on yourself tomorrow again we, we, we touch base